Hi Yargeeks, uh, in this video we are going to learn how we can implement a queue system in Node.js Okay, so basically we are going to implement a Redis based queue system Okay, so Redis based queue systems are very high performance uh, compared to uh, the other queue systems like uh, Rabbit and queue etc. So um, basically uh, this uh, Redis based queue have uh, like performance like uh, it can 1 million uh, uh, jobs per second Okay uh, so uh, these are uh, preferable in case of real time applications. Okay, so let's see like how we can implement in Node and Express. So uh, we are going to implement a queue system and a UI for the queue system. As you see, like uh, um, uh, we, are, we can easily uh, now monitor uh, these uh, now queue jobs. Okay, so uh, basically we are uh, going to use uh, this Node.js, so it's a famous Redis based for queue system. So we use this bool package to create a queue and then we use a bool board npm package to create a UI uh, for this queuing system uh, which we uh, create using bool.js okay so bool board plus bool uh, we uh, take advantage of these two uh, to implement a complete queue system okay so uh, um, make sure uh, first you install uh, these npm packages okay so which I am going to uh, list now. Uh, so one is bool, and then we need uh, these two packages. So uh, these three packages are uh, necessary uh, for implementing both. Uh, system plus UI for queues okay so I have installed so uh, please take your time and install these packages uh, okay so now we have these packages okay so how we create a job and that queue so okay so uh, if uh, you have a Node.js project okay just uh, make sure that you create a folder for jobs okay within that uh, you create an email job you create some uh, folder or a job specific to some function. So let's say like uh, we have a, a job of sending a notification. Okay, so let's create a notification job. Okay, if we have a, uh, if we have to send notification, let's say like in this view, I'm going to just send an email. Okay, in my local system, so I just created an email job. Basically, I just a plain class. Yeah. So uh, as you see, I am importing this queue from the bool. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just creating a new queue. Uh, this is uh, uh, the queue name which I gave it here. So it's basically a email queue, and I'm taking a Redis URL. Okay, so basically uh, uh, it uh, points to a Redis server. Okay, so since we are implementing a Redis uh, based queue system. We need to have Redis running in our local system. So since I am uh, using a uh, Windows, okay. So uh, I have a Docker uh, image uh, to run uh, Redis. So I'm running in my uh, local system. Okay. So basically, uh, Redis is available, so I can just take over and run it. And uh, okay. So this is my Redis URL running in my local system. And just giving that uh, URL here, okay, new queue name and uh, Redis URL as a second parent. So now I have created a queue, okay, so I'm just uh, using an event, uh, so just to make sure that when job completes, okay, um, uh, I will just pop some information like job ID or whatever, okay. So, uh, the one more important thing is, uh, okay, so the good feature that uh, this Bull.js provides is we can run uh, uh, as a separate process, okay, if you are running uh, something, uh, okay, some job, so we can run it as, as a separate process, okay. So, syntax for this is to like uh, this dot email queue, which basically refers to this new queue which we created. Okay, so this dot email queue dot process. Okay, so all we need to do is to uh, specify this email process where we exactly uh, know, uh, perform our in uh, no job uh, uh, in a background process. Okay, so now what basically I'm doing is I'm just uh, uh, 
specifying the, the file which we are uh, which uh, this bool has to consider whenever uh, it has to send an email okay so this is my email process okay so i have mentioned this file so this file uh, because of bool gets these two uh, patterns job and done okay so you don't need to bother about how uh, uh, now this uh, email process which i mentioned here gets these two so bool takes care of it all we need to do is add a job to the queue so i will show that syntax uh, okay so we are just telling the bool that uh, for this email queue this uh, email process is a file that actually sends email okay so uh, job is any data any data is objects and whatever so that i send so basically this is a place uh, where you can write your own logic to send uh, or do whatever you want to do uh, in background process okay so i'm just uh, basically just uh, now uh, sending this uh, mail so okay so the main uh, important uh, thing is uh, this job progress uh, basically tells uh, pool, uh, okay to that the job is in progress this particular job uh, which has a specific area is in progress and whenever uh, we are done with the job so all we need to uh, do is just call this done okay so this for the important thing just make sure like you call a job to progress with the 42 okay so don't worry about this code so it's uh, pool specific and uh, just pass this code whenever job is in progress okay so and just do done whenever it comes in okay so it is quite important to you know, indicate this uh, to reflect our uh, things in pool board uh, you are so now we know like uh, we have created a uh, uh, email shop okay and then uh, uh, we have created an email process okay so basically uh, I'm just running this uh, email uh, sending email as a separate process okay so now what we need to do is uh, how we need to uh, configure this queue uh, so that uh, it will reflect in uh, UI okay so for that we need both both Okay, so, uh, so these are the things, guys, like uh, which we need uh, to create a UI. So, create bullboard, uh, which is a function exported from this bullboard API. We need a bullboard adapter and express adapter. Okay, so uh, you will see the importance of bull adapter and uh, express adapter and create bullboard here. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating a, a express server adapter. So basically, all it does is okay, uh, set some uh, basic path at which uh, the UI has to call, make a request so that uh, it will reflect in uh, UI. Okay, so uh, let's open a GitHub link so that uh, you will be familiar. Okay, so you see, if you see uh, this GitHub. So he basically has created a queue and he created a bull board, okay, which you see here, uh, okay. So he created a bull board so for that, we need a queues, okay, basically, um, queues is area of bull adapter, okay. So you see, uh, we don't get a bull MQ adapter right now, so we just create a bull adapter uh, instances using the queue that we created, okay. So and uh, server adapter. Basically, uh, we have to specify this uh, uh, express adapter or some root uh, in express right since we are using express. So, some root adapter is responsible for mounting a small local instance or our express so that uh, we can uh, make a call from the UI and uh, now get the data. Okay, so basically, all uh, it does is. Uh, Create some router and get this one time mount it. That's so similar to how we create some router and mount over on this uh, this part. Okay. So I uh, hope uh, you understood uh, this create bull board. Okay. So um, you see, uh, I will show you. So basically, I just created a, a instance here as a part of this uh, server class. Okay. So I created a new express uh, adapter. And then what I'm doing is uh, you see I'm calling this uh, set queues object here. So basically, uh, I create a server instance. I'm calling set route set queues. Okay, uh, server is a class where I create express instance. Uh, if you're not watched uh, my previous video, please do watch. Uh, it's very helpful. Uh, 
So when I create a pull board, yes, it kills. So I have created a new pull board instance. So image of uh, email queue. So basically, we have to provide a queue instance to pull uh, adapter. So if you click the uh, email job, email job dot email queue is nothing but this new queue which we create. Okay. So and service adapter is this dot service uh, server adapter which is an express adapter. Okay. So uh, once in app or PS, so as soon as we call set queue, so all is set up. Okay, so we created a queue and uh, mounted that queue to the ground pull board so that we can monitor uh, that uh, entire queue. Okay, so similarly we can create a multiple queues uh, like this and just make sure like uh, provide uh, that particular uh, queue as a whole adapter instance uh, to this queue. Then, okay. So uh, this is what uh, guys. So uh, let's see an example now. So okay. So uh, what I'm doing is uh, as you saw. Okay. So I have a email process and email job. Okay. So I'm just uh, sending some uh, recent uh, email cons email instruction. Okay. At the user route. Okay. So this is my recent confirmation cons. Uh, instruction path so here basically uh, this is a uh, uh, syntax okay so again email job uh, refers to uh, the email queue uh, which we created so all we need to do is email job dot email queue dot add okay this add method is nothing but we are adding uh, this particular we are creating a job and we are adding it to the queue with the data that is provided here okay so this data is basically mail type confirmation link and user uh, data that uh, we get here in job okay so that's why like i am just creating the create password mail or send confirmation instruction so basically send confirmation mail so those kind of stuff so here we have the send confirmation uh, mail i'm just uh, specifying this mail type so I'm just passing the data so whenever we add a queue so it gets here and it just uh, sends this uh, send uh, uh, confirmation mail to the user okay. so uh, this is it so you see uh, some options here so i'm going to uh, tell you like what are the options that we can provide so basically we can also provide a delay or retry option so if i just specify retry okay um, so basically it says like uh, how many number of times that uh, this particular uh, job is to uh, retry uh, okay uh, if it gets fit okay so uh, let's go to delay okay okay so attempts okay not retry so the key is attempts here so basically uh, you can provide all these options so you see it here so delay attempts uh, repeat okay so back off so every time it fails like uh, how many uh, seconds that it has to increase in uh, exponential way okay so uh, the main thing is sometimes we want to you know, delay the job for some uh, time so we can specify delay main thing is uh, attempts okay so how many uh, number of times we have to retry uh, or attempt to uh, complete this job even after uh, it throws the okay so uh, so those kind of things uh, we can specify as a part of uh, second parameter to the add methods okay so like usually the standard is uh, to give three so uh, we have given three let's reload this okay uh, so basically uh, this job is added to the queue okay so let's see like how it looks in uh, bull board okay this is my application so guys like currently if you are using the single page application so uh, bull board doesn't provide uh, compatible that much so uh, it should be a uh, you know, direct uh, you know, uh, port uh, on the node.js where we have to listen to this bull board okay so i reload the, the single page application so the bull board which you see is uh, directly mounted over node.js server port okay you have to hit that uh, node uh, server port directly so uh, I basically mounted uh, this pull board over queues. Okay, so you see uh, in server if we uh, went to the constructor. Okay, I think.
think I announced this. So here I am basically uh, mounting this particular bull box. Okay, it just specifies the path at which I have to mount this. Okay, this server uh, adapter dot set base path. Uh, okay, I am just setting it to queues. Okay, and uh, uh, so. So let me show it to you. Uh, okay. So, so I'm setting a bail pass, uh, the path at which uh, it has to listen, which is a queue, and we just make to make sure like you're setting it to uh, this queue here. So uh, this server adopts base path, okay, and uh, this app dot use uh, should match. Okay. Uh, this queue uh, base path. Okay. Plus uh, this one, which I'm highlighting, uh, should be in sync. Okay, so basically we are mounting a small router like user route and company route. Okay, so if I hit Q, so it just makes a call and uh, something is taken care by both and both. Okay, so I uh, send some uh, instruction. So you see, like uh, some job is added to delete job. And it will move to active after five milliseconds. So it came to active. Once uh, we saw the mail, it will move to completed. Okay, it was it is three. Now it will move to three. Up to five. It is two. It will move to three. Okay. So okay, now I got the mail in my local. So you see, it will increase to three from two. Okay. You see, uh, there are no activations. So you see, like. Uh, uh, jobs which are completed okay so even though if you uh, have a failed job uh, you can retry basically uh, let's say like uh, uh, there is some uh, set excel okay uh, job not focus oh, sorry Job dot progress. So basically, progress. I just uh, made a spell mistake so that uh, you can see how we can uh, retry uh, if there is an error. So it has to delay, then it has to move back to it. See, it went to fail, and uh, job dot progress is not function. Okay, so just move to fail. Uh, because there is syntax error so uh, now to succeed like uh, let's say like uh, we have failed jobs okay at present so we don't lose those jobs so all we need to uh, make sure is correct this uh, no, uh, this error fix the error and deploy it again okay so let's go to email uh, and correct this okay and reload this okay so that we can try it, uh, retry it to make it succeed so now I have deployed my changes. Okay, so I hope it provides uh, retry options. You see uh, the retry out, or uh, you see uh, the retry option here. Just click hit retry. So it's again move to active, then it should complete. See, now I got a mail. So completed should be four. You see. So, uh, okay, so. And uh, whenever we complete uh, a job is completed as you saw, like uh, we are listening on this completed event and consoling this, you see like uh, a log here, job completed and the job ID. Okay. Hope guys, like uh, you have found this useful. I am going to provide a GitHub uh, link in the URL. So I am the guy who implements and provide the URL, not just go and explain and uh, now go away. Okay, so please do refer this uh, project so it has uh, good information uh, which is needed in our daily project. So, hope this is useful and this is very important. So, uh, thank you guys. Thank you.